Hey folks, Quill18 here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Crusader Kings 2 as the Republic of Venice. And uh, when we left things off, I just had to go and rewatch the old video because it's been a few days. We just finished a couple of skirmishes. Now, I think we're actually going to dive right into a few more pretty soon because as you can see, there are a few civil wars going on. There are a lot of independent realms going on right now, and I would like to steal a few of them away. Um, I'm really looking to expand the uh, the Venetian sort of... Um, not the, just the trade, but our actual control over territory. Now, we've got a few towns at this point, um, and at some point we're going to go back and take the whole county. Um, but I think we still have a handful of little truces and things left to take care of there. We're going to check it out, but meanwhile, um, we're going to see if we can't steal just a few more cities away. Um, because that'll be awesome, right? We want to have actual land. So, uh, we are going to have to finish bringing our troops home, or are they already home? Um, let me double check here. What do we have military-wise? Oh. That's just a retinue. That's all we have going on right now. Wow, and our retinue's really gotten up to 2,000. And we've got tons of money. Mmm, for mercs. Mmm, very good. Oh, the other thing that people mention, which is an excellent point. So you can see we've got a handful of places now. Um, the other thing people have mentioned is that maybe I should consider trimming my family. First of all, look how many kids I freaking have. Um, and my wife's of age to even have more. Because that has probably been a pretty serious drain on my resources. So, the problem is, of course, that killing off your kids and things, or, or your wife and your brothers, um, can really uh, give you some negative traits, which is going to be unfortunate. So I'm, I'm not 100% sure how I'm going to go about trimming my family. Um, yeah, of course my wife has a very high intrigue, so getting her off would be rather difficult, but we should stop having kids, probably. Um, yeah, so how do we get, I can't remember, there's you know, monthly expenses. Because if we click on one of these, what about the underage ones? Do they get an income? No, I think it's only of age. I thought it would say the, their income here. I'm a little confused. But a, each one of these is getting paid from my dynasty. Every male in my dynasty is, is getting money from it. So having a big family is actually really bad. Which keeps throwing me off because when you're playing the regular game of Crusader Kings, the bigger the family, the better, because that's more people you can spread around, that's more places your dynasty can show up, and the more sort of claims you can start developing. But this, this is a bit of a problem. Um, yeah, so... My siblings, see, at least they don't have quite as many, although they may have kept spreading and spreading. These kids are going to be a huge, huge problem. Um, the daughters are fine, because as long as I don't marry them off matrilineary, Matri matrilinearly. Wow, that is a really hard word to say. Lots of R's. Um, as long as I don't do that, they're not going to be part of the dynasty anymore, and their children won't be part of the dynasty, so that's not a problem. It's the boys that are a problem. And I'm... I, I can't turn around and kill my own sons off, can I? Now, Shifredo is my heir. Is it because he had decent stats? I guess so, because this guy is not my heir in any way whatsoever. Hmm. Domenico is first. Oh, right, because the, I mean, the way things break down is a little different. Schiffredo is definitely on my list. He's not, he's not my heir. Sorry, I'm looking over here on the right, and he was the top guy actually flagged. Uh, Domenico here, my nephew, is my heir. And... Hmm. Yeah. Oh, do we really start purging? He's strong and everything, like, we don't want to get rid of people with good traits, do we? Now the dwarf, on the other hand... Really? There's no valid plots? Why? Oh, because there's their children? No, you can kill children. You can kill, like, other people's children, right? Why can't I kill him? That's an interesting question. I mean, I can assassinate him this way, but I don't want to do that. Huh. Kill my wife and remain unmarried. I, I can't have any more kids. 
but she's got great stats, and I want to keep her on my side. You know what? We're, we're just going to have to eat the cost. Part part of playing this game is not about... Um, is not about optimizing the win. Part of it is about the role-playing aspect. Um, it's what I like to do. Anyway, so let's let's go talk to the uh, the Duchess of Dalmatia here, and we're going to declare war on her. We're going to declare war on her for Zadar, which is a little closer to us. We're going to start with that. And, I mean, I can press this guy's claim for it, Mayor Enrico, but he is not of my dynasty, uh, so I won't actually get Zadar as part of it. It's going to become some sort of, I think, an independent place. Um, yeah. So, we're just going to seize it ourselves. Boom. We call in allies. I don't think we need to do that. Let's just see what we can do with just our retinue by itself, actually. Um... Let's let's ship them over there just for speed. Do 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 fleet levies. Cause personally I should yeah, I have more than enough ships to just bring all these fellows over. So we're gonna go over to the Adriatic Sea and unload them directly on the Zadar. Always the top priority is always the territory that you're um, you're contending. The reason is that Marcini usurped Alright, that's fine. Uh, the reason is that the actual territory over which you're fighting is gives you tons more war score. Lots more war score. So it's the top priority to control that. Um, I'm in another war. Oh, right. My son-in-law, King Salomon the Wise, King of Hungary. He's getting his ass kicked. I'm hoping he'll just peace out. And I'm hoping that doesn't cost me uh, any prestige. I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're still complaining, but I don't actually have any uh, vassal levies raised right now. No fleet, no army. Good. Oh, yeah, I didn't actually even raise my personal levies, which I should have done. Uh, that being said, these guys are doing fine. My son Cosma is aiming for the stars, the ambitious little brat. Now, see, so that's interesting. Ambitious is a very funny trait because it does give you plus two to everything, which is really good. However, it's only really good if it's someone you're going to end up playing, because if you don't end up playing this, it's really bad, because then you have some ambitious jerkass out there that's really competing for your attention. Um, that being said, wow, he's going to have pretty good intrigue. It'll be interesting what he ends up with. Um, deceitful. And right now he's got the ambitious trait. We can take it off of him. Uh, he might be a good contender for a secondary heir. Um, Dominico, have I, did I choose him as my heir? Is that what happened? Because wasn't I, Schifredo is bookmarked here for some reason, because he's got decent stats. Um, yeah, but I can't actually grant him my heir, so I think I actually did that directly for Dominico as my chosen heir, and then I'll have to um, pick another good contender after that. And that might be back over here to Schiaffredo. Of course, Cosmo might end up being as good or better. Um, what is this? Ill. Ambitious. Oh, he's got Ambitious as well. I think Schiaffredo is going to do fine. So you know what, Cosma? Ambition will not serve you. We're going to keep that away from you because otherwise you might cause trouble. You might try to get some people assassinated and all that stuff. Um, I suppose I could slow walk my military over there. I mean, I could raise the ships up again. Um, yeah, what the hell, we'll do it. It will speed up the, the siege. What? Really? It's not even, like, the person that's doing it. That's like, someone else is at war, just happens to be sieging that, just because they're douches. Because this is, a uh, Army of Mare Brenemir. Maybe it is one of these people. I'm not sure to tell. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Someone's sieging our crap, and that's annoying. But I'm not going to cry over it. Join up. We're going to finish our siege, and then we're going to kick their ass. Hopefully, we'll finish our siege before... Oh, no. It's going to drop fast, because we don't have much in the way of defensive stuff, which is unfortunate. God damn it, more suns. He doesn't have the genius trait or anything. Let's kill him off. We do need at least one co-conspirator, but by ourselves we have a 5600 plot thing. Um, let's just get one other person on board. 
Oh, wait. This is secretly my son? <laughs> oh, well, that's funny. But, uh, but Adalbert thinks it's his, which is good. But I still have to kill him off. I feel it's my son and everything. But you know what? I definitely can't have him uh, rising up as a bastard leader or anything like that. Wait a minute. I, um... Oh no, it is someone different. Okay, my bad. For some reason I thought it was the, the, father, the kid's father. <laughs> Alright, so we got defeated there, which is unfortunate and annoying. Schiaffredo is no longer spy master. Aw, oh, why do these people keep doing that? So annoying. You know, I've had one game where, like, the guy kept abandoning the post, so I was like, fine, I'm going to assign someone else instead. Um, and then, like, two months later, he comes back, and he's like, well, I would make a better so-and-so than so-and-so. I'm like, well, why are you being a douche? Anyway, I'm not going to point my wife, even though she's actually pretty decent. Um, I'm going to just stick him back in a roll, because why not? And we are going to uncover plots on ourselves. It's a nice, safe thing to do. A lot of people are making the case for the study technology, but the thing is, study technology doesn't often come up a lot, and the problem is, there's actually a fairly decent chance that he might get busted. I mean, it's pretty low chance, but it's still there, and this is the guy I'm grooming as my next heir, so I don't want to lose him. Um, it is a great way to, you could appoint a different spy master, send him off to spy somewhere, especially if he sucks. Um, I'm converting populace in Mazar. Oh yeah, down there. Um, especially if he sucks then it becomes uh, a really good way to get rid of someone you don't like because they're just going to get busted. Yeah, let's let's convert most of those people there as much as we can. Um, we've got to go back in here, actually, and reclaim at some point the uh, oh, the, the, the whole county. Um, one of the maids near Adelbert, Princess Simon, agreed to solve our little problem. Someone's a maid will solve our problem? Like, in an unspecified way? 400%. Listen, this better work. This better not be like some of those other assassination attempts. Yeah, alright. Um, yeah, we'll just, we're just gonna keep doing the, this, this sort of thing. Um, he's got a lot of nice traits, actually, and he's content. I don't know if content passes on. But just in case it does, that's like a really good thing to try to encourage in my others. Although, it's less important with the daughters. Frankly, there's something to be said about raising a bunch of daughters who are ambitious and have high intrigue, and then you marry them off somewhere, and they just cause chaos. Cosma has become a great eminence. Those are, those are decent stats. Of course, he would have been better if we'd made him ambitious, but yeah, that's, that's fine. We can... Success! Adalbert was smothered with a pillow by the maid. He's, he's not even a year old. Are terrible. She wasn't caught. No one has any reason to place blame on me. The world is too cruel for children. What happens if I get caught doing that sort of thing? Wow, that is so bad. I just killed a little boy. Now, I still can't kill my own. Apparently, let's kill off some more people in the family. Seems like a fun thing to do. Like you, you're you're never gonna get anything. 140%. Man, you know, I've been I've been playing a couple other offline games of this, and it is so nice to um, to have people who are high in intrigue. Man, otherwise these plots will never work. If I get picked up and get the Kinslayer trait, that will really bite. Um, oh wait, I shouldn't be using Shifredo in this. Would he get the Kinslayer if we get caught? Can I ask him to like leave the plot? Uh oh. There we go. Stop b b back in the plot. Yeah, I hope, hope that doesn't screw anything else up. Um, you, Allison. Just a random courtier. That's who I'm going to ask to join. <laughs> just in case. I have no idea if it spreads like that, but if it does... There we are. Can we catch this guy? Where is he going? Oh, he's going up there. I know I just broke a siege, didn't I? Hopefully it was an important one. Uh, railing of a balcony, good. Um, we can almost brush that pretty comfor comfortably. King Solomon of Hungary is lost. Okay, well at least we're not in that war anymore because it was actually kind of freaky. 
Mm, intricate web weaver. Ooh, that is really good. Here, let's. Uh, you don't actually have a desire to get married yet. I'll have to like take care of that in a sec. Um, does anyone actually have that in my court? Goodbye, nephew. <gasps> Revealed my involvement. So, there's the Kinslayer. Oh, man. That's, I mean, I still have an effectively really high diplomacy score, which is good. I, I don't know what else is going to come from that, though. Uh, what else? I was going to do something else. Crap, I keep getting interrupted. Sure, I don't want to lose prestige. As long as it doesn't actually affect me, I will keep doing it. Um, I have a ton of money. Let's do something with it. Do you want to open a second war up, maybe? You! Are you independent? Ah ha ha ha. Crap! Um... Can I stand down here? I can, because I actually have a holding here, I think. Boom. So, in theory, can I declare war now? But I don't have any... I do? Six hundred and eleven raised up people. Really? I should probably just do one war at a time. Ah, crap! That ended. These guys are still independent, though. The king of... Oh, no, he's not. It's part of Sicily. God damn it! I should have just done some rushed suicide attacks. I'm so bitter. Fuck. All right, now seriously, let's do the stand down thing. All right, apparently I had some. And then we are going to declare war over here. I want territory, goddammit. Seize Ferrer, seize the entire county. Oh, we have a truce. What about here? He's not independent? What the hell is Lombargo? Oh, right. You know what? I can do this. It's fine. He's currently revolting. What a perfect time for it. Let's go and steal a city. Boom. And you know what? Just to save time, we're going to we're gonna go ahead and get some mercs. And the reason we're going to do that is because I want to be able to rush the, um, the siege and just get through it as quickly as possible. I mean, we don't need a monstrous sort of merc army. We'll get the... Uh, this is still, like, quite expensive, uh, but I think it's worthwhile. And the thing is, we don't actually have to uh, lower the mercenaries at any point to... Um... to continue to declare war. They're like the retinue that way. So let's go there. Meanwhile, you can slow walk... Well, slow walk to Treviso, and then we'll, we'll decide what to do at that point. Um... Because we, we've got to wait for his morale to get up. Whoops, no, cancel. Well, I don't think it would have mattered with the retinue, but still. Land them here. I think, I mean, we get a penalty for the amphibious attacks, like minus 15% and such. Uh, but that's not the end of the world. Stand down, you guys join in over here. Crown Lords of Croatia, all right. High Crown Authority. Uh, I guess it does sort of impact me because the cities? I guess, I think. I don't know. Fudge! It's close. All these people stopping their wars. Genoa, and I have a truce with them still, right? Don't I?
Really? Huh. All right. Declare war. Let's go and take a city over here. <clears throat> oh my flanks they're a little rough and the group in the middle has like no military leadership so yeah we'll put a feliero in charge of there of course try to get him murdered that would be nice some time ago a merchant galley working for the contarini family brought back several visiting dignitaries oh gaspar is marrying someone from far away all right that's fine you go ahead and do that fracking civil wars fracking ending all the fracking time when i don't fracking want them to What we have to do is go after his core things. Daughter was born, that's fine. Oh, we can murder more people! Cause we may as well, right? He's dead. Galieto. Boom. Um. Oh, I'm doing this wrong. Come on. It's going to be a little harder to find the people. Invite to plot. It's a little faster, I think, doing it this way. Uh, you don't contribute much, but we'll bring you in anyway, even though it actually increases the risk considerably. Okay, and that's going to go down fast, because the cities are not well defended. As we found out ourselves in the last siege. What does that bring us to? 135. Well, that's pretty good. Um, just finish it. Thank you. Let's go over here. <clears throat> Get some more war score. My kinsman. This is... I don't remember. Is that my bastard child? No. Didn't I get him killed? Kinsman? I can't... Oh, because I'm already plotting. Um... We will make sure that you're being educated by the person with the lowest possible freaking uh, intrigue. Someone who's already an adult. Like her. In fact, this is an imbecile. You are going to be tutored by an imbecile. Because we're probably just going to off you at some point. Um, that's good, but frankly... I should just have you fabricating some claims. I don't know. How does that work with the... With... God, I've been playing too much of a non-republic for a while. How does fabricating claims work? Pisa. There we go. See, let's let's target Pisa. Right here. Let's find out. Um... Alright. Oh, right. Right, right, right. With the... Yeah. Boom. Assault. Excellent. Oh, and this one's got a real number of people. All right. What did I assault first? Like, the town? Oh, right, because it's just a city is the main thing. And now what am I assaulting? Uh, Luna, which is a barony. That's why it's so much tougher. All right. Fair enough. <clears throat> Speaking of, I could actually build some new holdings entirely here. And you know what I should probably be doing is improving my homestead here. Um, with anything I can afford... More galleys. Let's do that. Boom. It's been brought to my attention the large garden outside. Oh, this is going to be the uh, the bonus to stewardship, which I guess is my yeah yeah. Let's let's do some gardening. Organize the gardens, which is apparently very good for stewardship. It teaches you how to I don't know organize things or whatever. Goddamn civil war! Why couldn't you last longer? Oh, that's, that's a legit siege, too. And I can't bring up a big enough levy myself. I suppose I could pull in all my vassals, but it's kind of a pain in the ass to ship them all over the place. That's the thing. I'm, you know, as I've established in the past, I'm, like, incredibly lazy. Plus two stewardship is awfully nice. I don't know. I guess we'll have to do it. Let's raise everyone. Oh, crap. Even those. Um, raise my personal fleet. Should be enough. Combine, get on a boat, boat come here. 
yeah, defeat, but we knew that already. Get on a boat. Boat, come here. Boats do move fast. Can I do that, really? Now, do I get the aquatic landing? Oh, I don't. Oh, well, that's quite nice, actually. down. Oh, he's resieging. Or someone's resieging. Victory. Oh, wait, where's his troops going? Really? Alright, well, let's chase him down there. It's an easy war score. Oh, I had more holdings there. Well, there. That much more incentive. Urbano Contarani. Still no valid plot. Oh, well, I'm still plotting. That's part of it. Shorbs are sharp and dangerous. I can lead better from inside my castle. Curses. I'm craven? I was leading troops? Why the hell am I leading troops? I gotta change that. Oh, man. Okay, well, prisoners are handy. Um. Why? I'm not even good at it. Good God. You guys have two units? That's not very handy. There we go. Now you can join the fight. Um, who are you? You lack a guardian again? Really? Again, someone relatively incompetent. I know I've been doing it the other way around, but... Um, boom. More cheap war score. Excellent. He surrenders. Boom. Meanwhile, I think we can disband safely here. No. So, yeah, the trading posts definitely don't count. There's going to be a proper proper province of our house, or our, um, thing, of our republic. Or, does it? Can we go here? And disband there. So what do we control here? Oh, we do control a city in, uh, Bene, Benevento. So that, that'll be enough, so we can disband there. So we won't need the ships, but I may as well finish the trip. There we are. All right. Um, lower that. Meanwhile, what else can we attack? I don't, I'm not sure if I'm going to be do, able to do things here. Let's try it. What about, like, Pisa directly? Okay, they've been there for a long time, and that's very inconvenient. Oh, there! Let's say, why do I have all these levees all over the place? Because this one shouldn't be a levee. There we are. Mm, so it's there. Aha. Either way, I'm going to need some ships to bring these guys somewhere. You know what? I'm going to grab um, Northern Pisa. Boom. And then I've got to raise up a proper fleet levy. It's probably more than I need. We're going to get a second set of mercenaries. Doesn't have to be huge. We can go for one of the 75 gold ones if they're available. 
Maybe this 90? I'm trying to get good value out of it. Um, oh, they're mostly light infantry. I don't want that. I want... Here we are. 75, 20... But there's a lot of heavy infantry in there, which is a lot of value. I think these guys will do. And then we will have them slow walk over here, and by the time they get there, they should have full morale. Ooh, that is... A little rough. Everyone keeps dying off. fast, but that's okay. Uh, and the ships are definitely expensive, although right now they're mostly weighing on my vassals. Let's rush this. Five defenders. Oh, because we just lost that. Adalbert, my grandson, wants to become my marshal. Alright, that's, that's fine. Whatever, I, I want skill over other things right now. We'll figure out who's who later on. Um, go and assault. I, know, I probably should bring in these guys. I mean, they're already in a war. They're kind of busy. Uh, yeah, you know what? We'll, we'll leave Hungary out of this. We can win the war. Uh, and I don't want them to become distracted and, like, die. Because that would be inconvenient. That is a big army, actually. My wife has retired to the convent for a short while to gather her thoughts and to find some peace, maybe even with God. Perfect occasion to spend time with my lover, become lustful. Which I don't already have. I already have lustful, so it's not really a thing. Who gained deceitful? Which I don't yet have, and I actually would like that quite a bit. Um, the whole pregnancy thing is a problem. I want to see my lover on friendship terms. Craven, spend the time working instead. Lose the feeling of my lover. Um, I mean, bastard sons are obviously a problem, we know that. But I would like deceitful. Yay! People are such gullible fools. Excellent. Excellent, that's what I'm hoping for. The Knights of St. John have come up. So we've got a new holy order. Hopefully these guys are going to do okay. There's only the one stack of them. Um, yeah, they have a lo I have a lot more uh, heavy um, heavy infantry, which is very good. More people captured. I suppose I should check up on that and. Um, ransom some people off if I can. Yeah. I mean, it's not really a problem. Them being free again, they're not really going to break me. And the extra cash is, is very handy. Ooh, see? 70. I mean, it's not like I'm broke or anything. I am playing a Republic, and they're super overpowered and broken. But every little bit helps, especially while we've got these stupid ships out. Uh, and I suppose I really could have just disbanded them, waited for this to finish, and then reassembled them, which actually makes a lot of sense. Okay, now it's weekend. I'm going to start that.
Oh, I lost another ship. Possibly by the Ziani family. You gotta suspect them. Okay, that went fine, and now they're considerably weaker, and that happened there. Who are these guys? I don't know, but they're big and red and hostile to me. Boom. Alright, get back on the boat. Hmm. That's not good. Alright, time to kick some ass. Kick ass and chew bubblegum, and bubblegum hasn't been invented yet. Let's go and actually finish off this army. If we can capture them. That is a big group. Well, they must have picked up some mercenaries. Do they have a retinue? Baron, so-and-so, I'm not sure. Excellent. We'll pound on you a little bit more. Reclaim these holdings. Okay, well, they don't have enough to siege, to actually siege. I should turn off the warnings when, like... It would be nice if you could turn off the warnings if they're not actually successfully sieging. Another prisoner. Does that affect the war score at all? Oh, I can't... I can't ransom him, right? Because he doesn't actually have land or something like that. There we go. He surrenders. Bam. Now, where can I disband these guys? Because I don't have any holdings along the coast right here, do I? Oh, I do have it here. Derp, that's why they keep sieging me. And I have one too many domains, so let's get rid of something here. Um, I can do it this way. First of all, apparently I still had fleets up. Really? I don't have any levies? It's all just retinue and, uh, whatchamacallits? Well, that's very handy. You're part of the HRE. You, I, I have a truce with, right? There we go. I was gonna say. Um... But it's time for violence. Not a whole war. I'm still... A little concerned. Or are you already in a war? Is there any chance of that? No. But we can grab all of Mazar here. Or all of Napoli. I think I like the idea of grabbing all of this first. It should be harder for me to reinforce. I don't know, not that hard, but... Uh, you know what I can do, is I can slow walk these guys over here, and then do stuff. Now, if I give this away, how does the family structure work?
because I don't think they will answer to me. I think they will be answering to someone else. Well, maybe not by default, but I suspect something like that could happen. I'm actually, this is so weird. I'm not used to having just one of the baronies effectively, but not actually having the county. You know, I'm going to keep this for now, just because I'm a little iffy on the whole thing. Uh, really? Can I not have you imprisoned? Oh, you're not one of mine. Wait, yes you are. Why can't I imprison you? You must be in someone else's court. Or something like that. Anyway, just stop plotting against me. How about you do that? There you go. You know what, we're going to cut this episode here, and when we're back the next time, we are going to go after the proper county of Napoli, and it'll be our first real expansion. See you next time, folks. Bye-bye.